Well, I started when I was uh, 10 years old in 1942. Um, I was going to Glen Eden School and uh, we used to borrow Glenora's uh, jerseys for the school to play in, so um, it was my job when one after one game to take them back to the custodian, which was uh, Mr. and Mrs. Malam in those days. And uh, when I took them back, they asked me about uh, playing for Glenora, and I've been here ever since. And mostly um, it was local boys. We had, I think it was three imports into our club at that stage, but uh, it was mostly local, local guys. It was very uh, great when we won our first group rooster and um, and fell in shield games and, uh, and Stormont Shields we we had some real great teams together and uh, they were real personal highlights to be able to to be taking part in that players along up here are the uh, the Kiwis that came from Glenora itself um, Munger Emery and Bill Sorensen and um, my brother Eric, uh, youngest brother, he made the Kiwi team and um, Wayne Redmond was another one, Dane O'Hara. There was quite a lot of them from Glenora in those days that um, made the Kiwi team and they all uh, did their bit for Glenora. After I finished playing we en I ended up on the committee and did various positions, uh, deputy chairman. In that time we built the uh, club rooms, it was mostly through local volunteers that we did most of it. A lot of members of the Glen Eden community will probably remember when we used to run the, the housey down here and uh, the possums got into our ceiling and um, you know, they used to piddle through the tiles and there'd be a great scream out as a uh, puddle landed on the table where all the girls were sitting around playing. It wasn't very good. Over the years we've had different uh, people, of course, running the club and all come with their ideas. Uh, into the 1940s and uh, 50s, this uh, frugal uh, treasurer of ours was um, noted for saving money for the club and uh, the story is that he um, used to, we used to hire, or the club used to hire a bus after a game, a local game, and go around the different areas like uh, say Swanson or Pihar and have a just hire a hall that there was always seemed to be plenty of them around and for a dance a mystery it was a mystery drive in the bus and a mystery destination and this particular night um, the bus arrived but Frank had been he was our treasurer arrived a wee bit earlier and he noticed that the uh, hall had a, all the uh, vent along the centre had let the birds and had been nesting and everything, so he grabbed the broom and swept all the all the uh, shavings and uh, feathers and every nesting gear over to one side, and, and the dance carried on. And afterwards, he stayed behind and swept it all back to the middle and tried to make out that the hall had never been used. I'm not too sure whether he got away with it or not, but the story is that's what he did. We uh, had a manager here, Des Hoffman was a, a real um, a real classic at that stage. He was able to organise uh, um, soaring events, wood chopping, anything like that. And on the weekends would bring the community together and Christmas time we organised with the committee's help to um, put on big um, lunches for all the pensioners in the area and we got uh, we had two big um, retirement homes in Glen Eden uh, right at the start and all the uh, pensioners in the uh, community were all brought down to Glenora by the locals, by the players, would put their transport together and come and get them and bring them down and uh, take them home again, sometimes a little worse for you. We've had some real characters at different times in the community. Um, the ladies committee used to run a uh, bazaar at the beginning of every year for the school boys to uh, provide their jerseys and socks and shorts and uh, they used to have a bring and buy type of thing. And we had one guy that used to bring us some flowers down every 
afternoon he'd bring this great heaps of flowers and it wasn't until about um, two or three years ago and by we found out he was bringing them from the crematorium. Uh, I think we had 23 or 24 junior boy, schoolboy sides last year and I think it was nine junior sides and uh, four senior sides. So it's a pretty big number of you know, uh, players to find gear for. Probably the biggest is the, is the gear and um, maintaining things. The, the maintenance of the club rooms is one of the big things and um, we're very, very lucky in that uh, at the moment. We've got a group that we call the 5x52 where everybody uh, that's in it puts in $5 a week uh, just off their own um, bet and um, provide the club and it's been paying a lot towards the maintenance. Um, for the last two or three years and uh, still going on very strong. Different things happen and you get your highs and lows and but luckily we've gone from strength to strength and it's been real great for, for Glen Eden and I think it's well it's because of the uh, village community type of thing that uh, seem to keep us all together.